Hi, I'm Christine. I'm going to be talking about two special robots today. This one's Dash. What? <laughs> and this one is the little version, Dot. let them talk about themselves for a little bit. <laughs> Dash and Dot are created by the Wonder Workshop, and this company is best known for the clever bots, which are out of the box, ready to interact with robots designed for users of all ages. And these robots spark creativity in youth through activities and accessories, and teachers can use specially designed curriculum to teach the first steps toward basic computer coding language and logic. Uh, these robots interact with Bluetooth compatible mobile devices such as a smartphone or tablet and is compatible with both Android and iOS. Dash the robot is designed for ages 6 and up and can be controlled simply like an RC vehicle. It also can respond to voice interactions with internal microphones and speakers or can also react to contact with objects with proximity sensors. With Dash you can play programming games with various apps using the smartphone or tablet. You can also attach accessories to Dash to perform tasks or enhance its appearance. I can teach kids how to code. Its smaller counterpart, Dot, is designed for ages 6 and up. It is a smaller, lower price robot, and it does not have the motorized wheels like Dash does. However, it also can, just like Dash, respond to voice interaction with internal microphones and speakers, or it can react to contact with objects with proximity sensors. It does interact with Dash and can give it instructions. You can also play programming games with various apps using smartphone and tablets. You can also attach accessories to Dot to perform or enhance its appearance. Learning about robots is fun with me. Both Dash and Dot are made for either personal enjoyment or for a classroom environment. Robots are available to purchase in class sets and Learn to Code and Robotics Competition Curriculum are available from Wonder Workshop. Also, Wonder Workshop does offer in-person training. And for more videos on how to use Dash and Dot in class, you can check out the link at the bottom of this slide. Now that you've heard about some of the cool things that Dash and Dot can do, let's see them in action. Now that you've seen a little bit of what Dash and Dot can do, I'll be showing you apps that you'll be using to interface with both of these robots. With Dash and Dot are five apps, Go, Blockly, Path, Wonder, and Xylo. I've arranged these on my iPad from the order of simplest to the most challenging. In this case, uh, Go is the absolute basic app that you would need to control a dash or a dot and just have it interact with you. So I'm going to show you guys how this will work. Uh, in this sample I will only have the dash connected. You might hear him in the background um, reacting to some of the things that I uh, will push on here, but at least you can see what the interface looks like. So this is Go. Hit the play button here. It's going to search for the robots. Dash has to be on in order for the, uh, the app to continue, and uh, in this case I named him Roy. And you can even change the color, so like for example if you're running more than one Dash robot at a time on the same iPad you can tell the difference between them. And you can also change their personalities a little bit. And every time I change it, it changes the reaction that the robot makes. So I'm just going to choose that and continue. It's connected via Bluetooth. 
So one of the interfaces that you have here is on the right controls the head movement of the robot, on the left actually controls movement. So as I move this around, the robot will actually move across the floor. You can also add sound effects and also make the robot do odd things. On the bottom are slots here, up to 10 slots, where you can record your voice or any sort of sound effects that you want to make that uh, Dash will replicate on his own speakers. In addition, you can even change the colors on Dash and change the way that the colors come out. Use the sliders to change the, co the combination of colors. So it's some cool stuff that you can see with Dash. You can also, because the front is an eyeball that has multiple LEDs, you can actually program which ones you'd like to turn on or off. So there's some cool things that you can do with, with Dash. This is with it all off, and then turning them all on would just be a touch. So that is Go, the very basic uh, way to control the Dash. This is good for the younger crowd that's just getting used to the fact that it's a robot and you just want to play with it. The next one we have here is Blockly. Blockly is one of those programs that will simulate a programming interface. As, a, uh, as an example here, we'll start over with, the, with Puzzle 1, and it will guide you through the basics of programming. So in this case, we're going to be teaching the Dash how to move around by giving it commands. So we just follow the directions here, press start button to get Dash's engine going. And so here, these blocks replicate lines of code. So instead of actually typing in lines of code, the code has already been integrated into these blocks and the object of these challenges is to put them in the right order with the right commands to make Dash do what, you know, what the app is asking it to do. So for example here, we're going to push the green button here is the start button. And okay, that was basic number one. So we'll go to the next one. Now we have to teach him how to drive forward. And so what we need to do is we need to start with the start button here and we need to tell Dash to move forward. And so after the program starts, the second thing we need to do is move it forward. And if that looks right, we'll hit the green button down here and Dash moves forward and you get a good job and you can continue on. Uh, these puzzles get progressively harder as, as uh, time goes on, but as you can see, it eventually will give students an idea of what it means to program. A couple of the other programs, Xylo actually requires a xylophone attachment and Wonder, and I'll show you that one, is actually another way of learning programming visually by dragging paths and testing them. So this is instructing Dash by graphic to say hi. So in a nutshell, these are five applications that will definitely uh, take hours to uh, figure out and, and play with. There's, uh, there's quite a number of things that you can do with the Dash. The dot has similar interactions. Uh, big differences is that the dot cannot move on its own, so all of the movement is actually done by the by the person controlling the robot, either by picking it up, moving it, or or wearing it in some cases. So in conclusion, simple kid-friendly robots such as Dash and Dot are a fun introduction to STEM-related topics such as computer programming, robotics, and engineering. Robots can also stimulate creativity in storytelling, role play, and design and decoration. Robots can supplement lesson plans while increasing student interest. And out-of-the-box robots, such as Dash and Dot, can appeal to multiple age groups depending on the model and complexity of the operation. This concludes my presentation. Thanks for watching.